Hello everybody, so today I am just bringing you guys another plan with me and this one I am using some printable stickers from Esha B. Prince and she's on Etsy. Um, she has actually liked I think every single Instagram picture I've ever put up so I wanted to try her printable stickers and I don't really go for the printable stickers just because they... Um, a lot of times require you to cut them yourselves because silhouette files are kind of iffy I guess on Etsy and anyways I don't really know what I was gonna say there but I really like her stickers like I am in love with this kit I'm pretty sure it's my favorite kit and that I've done in the past probably like two months but the one thing that I will say is that she doesn't have an offset like a lot of Etsy sticker shops have an offset on their stickers so that um, you don't get that white space around the stickers when the silhouette cuts wrong and I don't know she might just not know that because she doesn't cut the stickers herself like we would cut them out using the silhouette cut files ourselves but um, it didn't really bother me too much I just lined up the stickers and there was just like a little bit of white space just because that was on the sticker itself when it got cut out but it's not a big deal and so for this plan with me this week, I wanted to just answer some questions um, just because all the other plan with me's are pretty boring and I figured I would finally, I guess, introduce myself to you guys. Um, so I have this like question list, probably won't go through all of them. Like the first one is list 20 random facts about yourself and like, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> not gonna list 20 facts that just sounds boring but let's see I didn't even I just like literally brought this up and I'm kind of dreading talking for 40 minutes because then I have less time to edit this video but I mean what can I do because I do have to work today at like three I guess that could be my first thing one of the questions on here is what is your dream job and why well currently I work as a pharmacy technician at Giant Eagle, which is a grocery store in Ohio, and I think Pennsylvania. I'm pretty sure actually the headquarters are in Pennsylvania. And so I just work as a pharmacy tech in Ohio. You don't need to have a license. All you need is a high school diploma, and usually the place that you work at will provide you with licensing. And um, like Giant Eagle has their own test next week. I am going to be going to a class that is offered through Giant Eagle, and they pay for it and everything so that I'll learn more about medications and everything. And so that's what I'm currently doing. I've had a lot of jobs previously. I worked at Burger King. That was like my first official job. Before that, I worked at a party planning center every now and then. And that I started that at around the age of 14. And then once I turned 16, I found a job at Burger King, which was all right. I mean, it wasn't terrible. The managers there suck and the people there the actual team members are good, but the people that are heading it are very bossy and stuff. And then after Burger King, I went to JCPenney, which if you don't know, I'm sure most of you know what JCPenney is. I'm pretty sure that's not just a store in Ohio, but JCPenney is just like a, um, what are those stores called? Like Macy's and Dillard's and stuff, big department stores. And so I worked there for a while. That's actually where I met my boyfriend. As we both work together and then I actually got laid well they just stopped putting me on the schedule at JCPenney essentially so I don't know if that's firing or what it is but so then I had to quickly find a job after that and I ended up going back to Burger King or actually after JCPenney I don't think it was really a big deal that I got fired because I worked at the Cleveland Clinic which I'm hoping that most of you know what the Cleveland Clinic is, but I worked there for a summer internship while I was in high school because I originally wanted to become a radiologist. When I was younger, I wanted to become a doctor. And so I did that over the summer in between working at JCPenney and then I went back to working at Burger King. I became an assistant manager there. I really hated it. Um... I enjoyed being an assistant manager, but I just really hated Burger King. So I eventually left there. I got a job working at my school's like cafeteria. It wasn't the main cafeteria, but it was kind of 
one that was closer in my classes and stuff and I could only work 10 hours a week there it's like they call it work study which is essentially FAFSA gives you a work study program and you can either use that to pay off your college debt or you can just use it however you like so I obviously had no other source of income so I used that to pay for things which I did have to take out a student loan like an extra student loan other than what FAFSA gave me and so I was paying $25 a month and my paychecks were like $100 and I got paid bi-weekly so it was kind of or is that called bi-weekly or bi-monthly I don't know but so it wasn't much so I had to like I really had to find a job at that point because I was not really making money and I had to drive a lot because I did have a car on campus and I ended up volunteering at the hospital that is down the street from my the previous college I was at which is Baldwin Wallace University in Berea, Ohio. I currently go to the University of Akron but I volunteered at a hospital because at this point I still wanted to become a doctor or at least a physician's assistant and I volunteered at the hospital as a central transport is what it's called in the volunteer world and then I thought well why not do a little bit more work and be able to get paid $11.75 an hour instead of volunteering so then I worked there for over a year um, which I really really loved that job but it was a lot of walking it was starting the hospital was starting to get much much busier and for me it wasn't worth it to work so much and come home dead tired so that's why I got the pharmacy job which is still a lot of standing on your feet you don't really get long breaks like at the transport job I would get to sit downstairs for a while but at this job you are always on your feet you only get a 15 minute for six hours and two 15 minutes if you're eight hours so And so I ended up working at the transport job for a while, transferred over to the pharmacy job, and um, I did actually get a job for my boyfriend at the transport job at the hospital. And so how that relates to my dream job is that while I was working as a transporter at um, the hospital, is called Southwest General, it's linked up with University Hospitals, if you're more familiar with that name. Um, I really realized that I didn't want to go into healthcare anymore. It's, I thought about becoming a nurse and that is just, you don't get paid enough to do nursing and it is nice to only work four days a week, but you have to deal with grumpy patients, you have to deal with patients that can't do anything for themselves, you have to wipe people's butts literally, you have to deal with going into a room where a patient could be HIV positive, they could have um, C. diff, they could have MRSA, they could have anything. And if you're a nurse, you're putting in IVs, you could get blood on you that's contaminated. Like, it's not worth it to risk your own life at the at the expense of somebody who is kind of, I don't know, how I see it is we're all going to die anyway. There's an old person that is on their deathbed. Why am I risking my life to save somebody that is going to die anyway? And that's a pretty morbid outlook, but I don't know. That's just how I was looking into it. So I actually switched my major from neuroscience and biology. I was double majoring at Baldwin Wallace. I moved to the University of Akron because it's about half the price and I could pay for it out of pocket instead of taking out a loan for it for the most part. And I am now majoring in human resources. I hope to still get my degree in four years. I'm currently halfway through. I'm going into my junior year of college. So hopefully everything will work out. If if anything, I'll be staying in an extra summer just to complete one or two more classes, but that's not a big deal to me. Um, 
if I have to take out like a thousand dollar loan to do that that's nothing I've already I had to take a ten thousand dollar loan out for Baldwin Wallace but my dream job is to run my own business I guess be an entrepreneur I really really love this Etsy thing but I don't know how sustainable it is um I mean I would love to get to the point where I'm like planting roses and I can just have an apartment and be well off I guess more well off than I currently am because I'm a college student and I like have no money but yeah so that would be my dream job is to run my own business if it's not Etsy I something else I really really love baking but I would have to move somewhere that baking is profitable because Ohio is not that place tons of cupcake shops open and close the next day because people don't go out in the morning and think oh I'm gonna buy a cupcake for something like with the bakeries and stuff it's like oh I could go and grab a donut for breakfast but with cupcakes it's kind of like a specialty item or cakes or whatever and there's not really a need for that in my area and then let's see what other question that was a long explanation but I guess it's all right um some of these are like really deep <laughs> like what has been the most difficult thing you have had to forgive no <laughs> Mm. oh this is a really good one it says what do you think people misunderstand most about you so I'm a very shy person like before I met my boyfriend I didn't really talk to guys at all like at all like they would come over to me and I would just smile at them if they would talk to me and I wouldn't say anything back essentially and now since I have a boyfriend like it's kind of not a big deal to talk to guys anymore which is kind of funny because I'm like 20 years old so it's a little bit ridiculous at times but I really struggle with like talking to people and that's just who I am like it's never gonna change I'm never gonna be able to go up to somebody and just like start a full-on conversation I just that's just who I am I mean I've lived 20 years of my life like this I'm not changing now and I think that's what people most misunderstand about me because even at this new job that I just started I'm a super shy person so I don't really talk to anybody at all and I wear glasses a lot of the time even though I do have contacts that I wear so people kind of see me as like the quiet bookwormy type but like I am nothing like that at all I actually we were talking at work about like road rage and singing in our cars and stuff and I I told them I was like I have the worst road rage and I will like bust out bust out into song I think that's the right wording and like dance and sing as hard and as loud as I possibly can in my car and people probably think I'm insane but like I don't care because I'm never gonna see that person again it's just some random person in the car next to me like it doesn't even matter and they were everybody was super surprised that one I have road rage and two I just like don't care what other people think of me and I think that's what people most misunderstand about me is that and I think that's what people misunderstand about shy people in general is that they think that they're always shy like <laughs> which is so dumb like um with my boyfriend anybody essentially that I'm close with I talk a lot to them and I think that happens a lot with shy people is that they are very shy in groups or in front of new people but then once you get to know them they're the type of people that will never stop talking and so I really like that question because that is definitely something people misunderstand about me. This one, it says, if you were an animal, what would you be and why? I was so, like, when I was younger in high school, I don't know why, but I, like, I'm pretty sure it stemmed from watching a meerkat, what is it, those nature videos that come on TV when I used to watch TV, like, I don't ever watch TV anymore, but I really, really liked meerkats. Like, I made this cute little meerkat statue in um, art class when I was in high school. 
I need to make stickers of meerkats, but I haven't found really any interesting clip art. There's one clip art set that I found, and it's just, like, one meerkat doing, like, in a hole. It's not, like, the cute ones that are, like, doing stuff like grocery shopping, and I really wish somebody would come out with that, because <laughs> I can't draw it myself. That would be, like, the crappiest drawing in the world. And so, I guess that's what I would be. I don't really know what meerkats do, but I just think they're cute. Um, 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 I don't know what to talk about. I feel like I've talked about, like, everything that I would want to. Let's see where we are in the video. Um, it says we're only 15 minutes. Is that where I am talking? I'm a little bit ahead on talking. Um, it looks like I just put down the full boxes and stuff. Dang, I need to, like figure out oh I could do this one it says describe a typical day in your current life oh, and the one above it I'll do too it says describe 10 pet peeves you have because I have a lot of pet peeves but a typical day in my life my current life so this is the summer so I essentially what you would think what I would hope is that once I get into the summer things start to slow down I'm not in school I'm not as busy but like some days I feel like my head's gonna explode in the summer so far, like, uh, <laughs> this summer has been hard running an Etsy shop and going to work because I increased my hours over the summer, not by like a huge amount, I'm not even working full time, which is what I usually do over the summer, but I am at about 30 hours, close to 30 hours at least a week, and yeah, my current life is just stressful, like on the days that I work, I usually work three to nine shifts in the evening. Yesterday, I actually had my first morning shift, which was nine to three, which was amazing. But for my three to nine shifts, it's really hard to get up in the morning and actually be productive because all I'm thinking about is I have to work six hours tonight. And then I work six hours and I get off of work and I don't want to do anything again, which is like, that's what I would really enjoy about having a st being either a stay-at-home mom, which is what I want to do in the future, I guess that would also be my dream job. Not because I'm lazy, but because I don't want to hand my kids over to a babysitter every day. I want my kids to be the product of my, be the product of my raising, I guess. Like, I want them to have my background, not somebody else's background if that makes sense. I want to raise my kids how I want to. I don't want other people to raise my kids how they would raise kids. But anyway, back to the question. Oh, what was it? Oh, a typical day in my life is I wake up, I essentially either watch YouTube videos or watch videos on Instagram. I eat breakfast. While I'm eating breakfast, I really, really, really like to watch OK Baby. It's kind of like my morning show. Either that or Good Mythical Morning, just because I feel like they go together, like Breakfast and Good Mythical Morning are like a great combo. But I usually watch OK Baby in the morning, along with KK and Baby J, just so that I don't forget to watch them later on, which I do a lot, and then it like annoys me when I go to watch those shows the next day, and there's a one I haven't watched yet. But then that's good, because then I can binge watch a couple of their vlogs at a time. And so I do that in the morning and then I feel like I should probably do something productive before I go to work. So I just do something random probably. Or I just go back to watching YouTube videos. I mean, I do that too. And then I go to work. Work is, takes me about five minutes to drive to work. So I leave about 10 minutes before I would start. And then at my job... We count medications, which is called fill. We do data entry, which is where we look at the script. We type up the medications and the SIG, which is like the directions for how to take your medications, like one a day, take two every day, blah, 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 whatever else. And then we also have a front counter and a drive through that we run. So I do that from three to nine. And then when I get home, I honestly don't usually take a shower just because my feet hurt so bad. Standing up in the shower is like the most dreadful thing. And we do have a bathtub, but it takes so much water to fill up our bathtub that we don't have the 
hot enough hot water to fill up our bathtub so it just turns into like a lukewarm bath and it's just disgusting <laughs> and so I don't take baths very often and so I'll usually just change into my pajamas like brush my teeth and I will watch more YouTube or sometimes I design if I'm like really behind on designing and then I just get like a spur of motivation I guess I'll do that or I'll create listings if they have to go up the next day. Yeah, I don't really edit YouTube videos at night just because a lot of times I need to take a thumbnail picture and I can't really do that at night because I don't have professional lighting. I just use natural lighting and I like to do that in the mornings when it's cloudy outside. If you do it when it's bright outside, I usually get a blue tint and I somebody said to tape white paper over the windows, but I have not found that that works yet. So I, I only do it when it's cloudy outside, which in Ohio is the majority of the days. But so that is a day in my life. On the days that I'm off, I'm usually shopping. Like, yeah, I have a planner meetup that I'm going to pretty soon. And so I've been shopping for that a lot. I'm essentially done. I just have to print off the stickers for it. And I know tomorrow, which is Thursday, that's my day off this week, Thursday and Friday and the weekend. I have a long, long couple days, which is nice. But for that, I am going to go to Target and get a monthly planner because I am trying to budget. I guess I could talk to you guys about that because I am super excited. I looked at Pretty Planning mentioned in one of her videos, Jen Plans, who does a budget video on the Dave Ramsey, what is it, like cash envelope system. And I also saw Nicole Alexia do it a while ago, like probably while I was still in school. And I didn't really think it was for me because I'm a college student. I don't have a large paycheck. Like these people that are making these videos have, oh my gosh, I can't imagine having that many bills to pay. And they probably get paid, I would assume a good amount of money a month, like 5000 a month if you're making a $50,000 a year paycheck. I'm hoping they're making that much because they seem to have a lot of bills to pay. But anyways, I didn't really think it was for me, but I was writing out what a budget would look like for me because I do have like a cell phone bill. Um, I pay twenty. I pay fifty dollars a month on my student loan, just because I, I'm smart about it. I don't want to have a whole bunch of interest. Like, if you're in school currently, the biggest piece of advice that I can give you for loans, is don't be dumb, and let the interest accrue for over four years. Take a look at how much your interest rate is. Look up how to calculate daily interest rate because that. Your interest rate is not monthly like it is on a credit card. For your loan, you accrue a daily interest rate. Actually, I think on credit cards it also has a daily interest rate, but credit cards are much more confusing to me because I add money onto that and take it off, so it doesn't make sense to me. But for your loan, look up your daily interest rate and multiply that by four years your money is likely to at least go up by a fourth, if not a half of what you owe, what your principal is. Which for me, I have a $5,000 federal loan and a $5,000 Discover loan. And so interest accrues very quickly on the Discover loan, which I did not realize. And so by paying $50 a month, I pay off all of my current interest and I start dipping into the principal amount, which is very good. That lowers, that will also boost your credit score, but it will lower the overall amount of the loan. Because what you get into, if you just let your interest accrue and you don't pay anything off while you're in school, when you get out, you're only paying off the interest you don't pay the principal. You have to pay all of your interest down in order to begin paying the principal. 
So just think about how much interest you're going to accrue and think about how frustrating that will be to only be paying the interest and you're not even paying what you actually got loaned. So if you can make payments while you're in school, that is the smartest thing you can do. Stop spending so much money on clothing and on dumb outings with your friends or alcohol and think about your future for a second. Do you really want to be paying off? It just annoys me how how kids run up their credit cards and then they don't worry about their student loans and then they get out and they have tons of debt. But then they just keep racking on credit cards because they're stuck paying off their student loans and they don't have any money because they can't find a job or whatever reason. Like, kids are just so dumb to me. <laughs> so if, if you listen to that one piece of advice from this video, you're golden. And we're at 25 minutes, but let's go with the describe 10 pet peeves you have. So I, I have a lot of pet peeves. Let's just say that I, I don't know. My number one currently is having my mother ask me to move my car every three seconds, but that hasn't happened in a while. So I guess that's not currently. Just because I'm more careful about where I put my car so that I don't have to move it all the time. But another pet peeve I have is when I'm in school and everybody's loud at night. And I just have to do homework. But nobody seems to grasp that concept. That I'm in college and I have to do homework. And I need quiet. Like I can't even fall asleep. I have to wear earplugs to fall asleep because I can't have any noise where it just keeps me awake all night. So you can imagine what it's like doing homework when you have a brother playing Xbox or PlayStation or whatever the hell he has, and then your TVs are blasting, or your parents are blasting their TV at like a volume of 80 from the basement while they're watching like a scary movie or something. And then the libraries close. Starbucks around here is always packed with kids doing their homework. I could actually probably go to Giant Eagle now because they have like this little cafe area all right well i think i am going to stop talking let's see where we would be in the video i'm just going day by day now and honestly i don't want to talk anymore um i believe i write in things at the end of the video let me just check really quick just so I'm not lying to you guys. I'll probably speed this up and overlay it with some music. Yeah, I do write everything down. So I will come back on here to give you a little bit of an ending. And I hope you guys enjoy watching me lay down stickers. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother...
So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and listening to just some facts about me, getting to know me. And if you did enjoy, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and also give this video a thumbs up. It really helps. And I just wanted to thank you guys all for watching this video. I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys in the next video.